y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Kara and if you are new here thanks so much for stopping by if you are a returning subscriber you already know I love you and I appreciate you for being a part of my tribe all right so if you clicked on this video then you already know what's coming at you finally my apartment tour let me just caveat by saying I'm saying my, but I do not live alone. I live with my twin sister, Kayla. We live together right outside of Chicago. It's about 15 minutes from downtown and we love it. We relocated out here in October of 2020 from the city and we just felt like we needed some more space. We felt like we were on top of each other. We were sharing a bathroom. We didn't have a lot of storage. And so moving out here was strategic so that we could expand and kind of just give ourselves some more breathing room. So I'm going to hop right into the tour. And then um, afterwards, I will share just a few more details, how much we pay, um the parking situation and i'm also going to share a few stores that we have been uh frequent shoppers at uh trying to get this apartment furnished i will say it's probably about 80 percent done but all of like the big ticket stuff we we have gotten um what we're gonna get for now another caveat i will make is you may hear some creaking floors you may see some cracks in the wall this is an older building, but you know, everything works just fine. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. Let's just get right into the video. Hey guys, so right here is the front door. So when you walk in, you are greeted by the main kind of living room. Um, we got this couch from, I believe, hmm, I'm actually blinking on the name right now. So we got that clock from At Home Stores, which is also another great store to shop at. One of my favorite features of this whole apartment are these windows. They are original to the building, and I just feel like it adds a lot of character. The table is from Ikea and the rug. We've had this rug for a while. It might be from Amazon. And then we've got kind of our TV situation over here. So my dad, when he was here for Christmas, he mounted the TV on the wall, which I felt like just elevated the living space. Um, we need to put up the strip to where it hides the cord. Um, so we need to do that. But other than that, you know, that's that. And then over here, we've just got another little decorative area. My dad hung these planters up as well. So you see one's empty. We have to get um, a little plant for that. But yes, this is kind of the first room. Right there is my sister's room. I'm not going to go in there actually. So then as you, again, the front door is right here on the right. So as you walk down the hallway, let me stop right here at the scripture wall. So we love all these scriptures. My dad actually got the crosses for us and we got some more for Christmas that we need to hang up on the wall, but we love that. Um, there's some more right here on this wall, all for my dad. So this is my room. I love it. I recently changed my bedding. I got this rug from Amazon. We've got this little storage ottoman over here. I love my pictures. Moving on. So me, hey y'all. My dad hung up the shelf for me when he was here for Christmas. Look, we put my dad to work while he was here. And so now I'm just gonna focus on getting that furnished, but I love it, I love it. I have two closets, which is really why I chose this room, more space, and nothing really special about my closets. I mean, they're just closets. I've got um, some bins under there for my gym clothes, and then 
obviously you've got another closet over here more clothes got some storage bins with some sweats my boots i've got those hanging on little hangers and then my vision board is up here in the corner so that i can always remind myself of like what i'm working towards my nightstand is from ross all these picture frames i got from Facebook Marketplace, secondhand mirror is from Marshalls, I believe. And then over here, I've got my TV and my dresser. I only have this one dresser in my room. Obviously, I have this storage ottoman over here, but I use that for mostly like bags and purses and things like that. So I do sometimes wish I had more like drawer space, but it's fine. All right, y'all. So this is bathroom number one. This is my sister's uh, bathroom. She's got a standing shower. My dad hung these floating shelves so that she has more storage space for all her stuff. But yes, bathroom number one. And then this is kind of like our second living area. We currently use it as a dining room. Kayla has her little vanity over there. This area is a little workout area that we have with our weights. And then on the opposite wall, we want to get a mirror. Right now, we just have some stuff that needs to go down to the storage unit, Christmas tree and all that. And then uh, we got our pictures hung up. We just need to actually get the prints and put them in the frames but the frames are up again little dining area love the wall of windows adds a lot of light so the bar cart we got from amazon along with the little tray that is on the bar cart the pineapple all of that is from amazon for our table and chair dining room area, we do eventually want to get two more to complete the table, but we were able to find two on Facebook Marketplace and just got the two because there's only two of us here most of the time, so it works. The table we got secondhand from Facebook Marketplace, and then the desk that is here being used as a vanity, and then also the one that I'm using as my desk, we got these from a secondhand retailer. So definitely make sure you're checking out Facebook Marketplace and other sites as well because you never know what you could find. Right here, we've just got where we keep all of our hair stuff, skincare stuff, just personal toiletries. We kind of keep them all here. And then we enter into my bathroom. So my bathroom is definitely the smaller bathroom of the two. I have a tub um, versus a shower, you know, let me turn the light on, and then just, you know, the bathroom. So it is a good size bathroom. It works for me. Um, I don't mind it at all. A lot of storage in my bathroom. I've got a little mirror with some storage in it. I've also got this little skincare caddy. And then I also have some skincare under my counter as well. So we are not lacking in the skincare products. I'm over here as well. Next, we're going into the kitchen, which is in the back of the house. This is probably the only thing I don't like is that it can seem a little, you know, cut off from the rest of the house. We have our washer and dryer in the kitchen, which didn't bother us at all because we just wanted to have a washer and a dryer. We've got a little coffee bar area that we have set up, our air fryer, microwave, got some storage on top of the fridge and yeah that is that's the kitchen i mean nothing special it's just a kitchen but it, it does the job 
This catch-all vanity is from Amazon and we just needed a little bit more storage for the kitchen. So we use it for, you can see like vitamins and pills are over there. We've got um, a little back, a little basket for our teas. And then down here is just wellness products. So protein powder, collagen, pre-workout, all that stuff, matcha mix, um, you see stuff for the coffee. So all that's down there, got some cookbooks, and then we just keep like our reusable bags on this little island as well. Technically, you guys, we do have a little patio out here. It's nice to have the space if you wanna come out here and sit, but obviously ain't nobody out here right now cause it's cold. And last but not least, we are entering the clothis. It is being used as both a closet. As you can see, we both have kind of our own separate racks in here for jackets and then lots of sweaters and purses and boots and hats and all of that on the wall back there along with some books. And then my office area is on this wall, which again, I just wanted a door to be able to close if needed. And so this kind of does the job. So. And then we've got a storage closet in here that literally is a catch all. Scarves, tissue, towels are over here. You know, you've got our vacuum, ironing board, all of my scarves and things. We've got more right here. So it's just nice to have a closet that you can put stuff in and you can shut the door and it'll be fine. All right, y'all, so that is the long awaited apartment tour. I hope that it was worth the wait. Um, as I mentioned, we live right outside of the city. It's not a bad commute at all for the times that we do go into the city, but we moved out here in October of 2020 just to give us some more space. I pretty much exclusively work from home. And so it was really important that I had kind of my space that I could close the door if needed and take my meetings and not be disturbing my sister or anyone else in the house. And so, yes, that is kind of the reason why we decided to move out of the city. And honestly, I love the area. I love the neighborhood. It's very diverse. Um, I feel very safe. That's a little bit about where we live. Um, the price, okay, let's get into the good stuff. So the price for this apartment right now is $2,080 and that is inclusive of water only. So in addition to that, we also pay, you know, electricity um, and gas and internet, you know, all those other utilities. Rent and water is $2,080. Now, in the apartment that we lived in downtown, we lived in Roosevelt Collection. Um, it's a very popular shopping area and we had a two bedroom, one bath apartment and our rent was right around $2,400. So we are paying a lot less living out here. Plus, for parking, um, you're looking at maybe about $150 a quarter, whereas living downtown, we pay $230 a month for parking. So there's lots of savings all around coming out of the city, which again was like a big reason why we wanted to move the cost as well as just having more space. Uh, this apartment is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, so it's almost double the size of what we were living in downtown, um, and it's cheaper. So, I mean, you really can't beat that. So, that's a little bit about the apartment specs, the cost. If you do have any other questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Before I end the video, as promised, I wanted to share the few stores that we kind of have been at frequently shopping that have not let us down. So obviously the first one is Ikea. I feel like Ikea has a lot of great um, beginner pieces. 
And what I mean by that is, you know, one thing that my dad told me when I was furnishing my very first apartment was like, you don't need to get the most expensive um, couch or bedroom set, especially because you are still in this phase of life where you're moving around a lot. And so you don't want people to be uh, scuffing up your furniture as you're moving and you know taking it up and down the stairs and up and down elevators like once you're kind of settled in a home that's when you kind of go big and splurge and so I feel like Ikea has a lot of like reasonable prices with still good quality furniture so Ikea obviously Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Ross sometimes you kind of have to look in there and you have to go like on a delivery day for Ross specifically but for the others um you could pretty much always find you know really good home decor kitchen um appliances equipment bathroom um accessories so those stores we absolutely love and then Amazon We've gotten a quite a few things from Amazon as well. And the great thing about Amazon is that it delivers straight to your home. So you don't have to worry about going to pick it up um, and all that good stuff. So Amazon is also another retailer that we shopped at a lot for furnishing our apartment. So those are kind of like the five or six places that we um, have gotten the majority of our furniture from. Some of it is secondhand, like from a Facebook marketplace, which is also another option as well. If you can reuse something instead of buying it brand new, like go for it. So anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video.